Hello everybody, this is Wolfkin Northclaw back again with another video. This will be for the WCW World Tag Team Championships. And it will be representing the tribe. Or Wolf no why. Yeah, Lincoln Prophet Wolfkin and Tribal Warrior Pagoda with the Alpha Voodoo Wolf Rankar. The Dawn of the Warlord Tonga. In the corner, and they'll be taking on the champions representing the hooligans. The ZBD's very first Red Fox, Nicholas P. Wild. And the Terror himself, the Terror B. Bunny himself, Bugs and Keenan. Representing the hooligans, and they will be competing in the Forest Arena. Which I found on the creation, or the community creation. Uh, there it is. Love that arena. So cool. Frank Carr on the left, Pagoda in the middle, Wolfkin on the right. And coming up in the rear, Tonga. This is the one this crowd has been waiting for, guys. Tag team action coming up. I can't wait, Michael. Like this crowd, I've had my eyes on this match ever since it was announced. Now, time for the champions. And, oh. We're just moments away from this huge tag team match, guys. And I don't think I've ever seen these four superstars more motivated than they appear to be heading into this one, Michael. Wolfman, Moda, on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 455 pounds, Wolfman and Voda, the tribe. Wolfman, Voda, and their opponents. At a combined weight of 402 pounds, they are the WCW World Tag Team Champions, Nicholas. And the terror, the hooligans. If you didn't think about moving, you better apologize.
Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. Doesn't get any better than this. We're about to witness tag team action at its finest, fellas. The shoulders are down. And there's the kick out. That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. Oh. Neck breaker. That's the that's the I drop kicking in the butt there. Beautiful technique. Oh, what impact! Corey, what are they going to do here? We're about to find out. Oh, no. Focused attack on the back. The champ's starting to stumble a bit. He has an amazing opportunity here to cement his legacy as one of the greatest champions in recent memory. It might be time for him to recharge that battery. All he has to do is get to his corner and make the tag. Well, this certainly escalated in a hurry. I don't think any of us expected to see him fall behind so quickly. Just inflicting so much damage to the body. Oh, I didn't pan out. The challenger's taking on some offense, but he certainly comes into this championship match with a ton of momentum. It looks to me like he's really trying to carry this oh. team on his back, which really isn't necessary considering he has a very capable partner he could tag in with. Oh, what? this might be it! Oh my! Inching closer, and he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. There goes the ref. Oh no, this is not good, guys. What a stomp! Good grief! Dodges that one. Hey ref, you wonder who stomped you? There's a one-eyed, one-horned, fire purple people leader. <laughs> Nasty impact. Challenger starting to falter. He looks incredibly motivated, though. Don't expect him to be down for long. Oh, nice the beauty run, of tag run, team competition is leader. that he doesn't need to take the entire brunt of the opposition's attack. <laughs> though the thought of making a tag uh, doesn't was, necessarily appear good. to be on his mind right now. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Oh, Let's man. see how he reacts here. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner, ah. and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. When this guy's on, look out. Tagged in. 
I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalya's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide 